While Aaron Rodgers was undoubtedly the biggest off-season addition for Gang Green, a healthy Brees Hall might just have the biggest impact on the 2023 Jets. So let's take a look at his All-22 and I'll show you why Brees Hall was the most explosive running back in the NFL last year. Let's go. What is going on everybody? It's Luke here from Play Like a Jet and we are back in the film room with another All-22 breakdown, this time looking at Brees Hall's rookie season. I can't let you guys forget, before the injury in Week 7, Brees Hall was the favorite for Offensive Rookie of the Year, but on top of that, he might just have been the best running back in the entirety of the NFL, and this is the skill set that allowed him to do so. Against the Denver Broncos, a 69-yard touchdown, nice. We're going to see him running outside zone to the left-hand side of the Jets' formation. Look at the vision, the ability to read his blocks. Yes, it's a big hole, but then we're going to accelerate and pull away from second-level defenders, and we're ripping off home run touchdowns, which is so valuable in the NFL. So what have we got here? The Jets are running outside zone. The key block is going to be Dwayne Brown on the linebacker, number 49. You can see 49 ducks his head, tries to go through Brown's chest. That opens up the lane for Brees Hall. The decision's made for him. And then look at the re-acceleration and the blistering speed. This is what allows him to be such an impactful and potent running back. The ability to hit that hole, but then to get north-south in a hurry and just glide away. This is effortless speed, and he turns what could have been a 20 or 30 yard run into a touchdown, and that's what this offense craves, and Brees Hall gave it to the Jets in spades last year. If you give him a crease, he's going to maximize production, and that is essential. This second snap against the Packers might be my favorite play from the entirety of the 2022 season. You're going to see the Jets come out in this two running back package. They have Brees Hall aligned as the H-back right-hand side of your screen. And have a look at how they set this up. Off the snap, Zach Wilson fake the toss, set up the trap play to Brees Hall. And look at this man do God's work in space. He makes six Packers miss en route to this touchdown. And it's just such a great culmination of his entire skill set. You're going to see the change of direction here to get the linebacker, beat him to the inside, and run through an arm tackle. Now, right here, we've got Packers converging from either side. But look at the re-acceleration speed to burst straight through that hole. We're going to land a stiff arm right in the chest of the linebacker and rumble all the way to the end zone and hit him with a Lambo leap. This is a phenomenal job of play design by Michael Lafleur, bringing, you can see, AVT and Herbig across the line of scrimmage. We're going to set up the trap play a great job as I said changing direction that pull away speed and then he just makes guys miss and runs through arm tackles and Brees Hall is a very very special footballer this is a great play from one of the most special playmakers in the NFL and I cannot wait to have him back on the field guys he is going to make such a difference so I've shown you already the home run threat ability, but have a look at the pure vision and short area quickness of Brees Hall. Running to the right hand side of the Jets formation this time, there is nothing on, but look at his wiggle, the patience, the vision, and then again, the ability to make people miss at the second level. He turns what should be a gain of one or two yards into a 10 yard gain, and it's because of those innate abilities that we've already talked about. Off the snap here, you're going to see perfectly from the back end zone angle, Brees Hall running to the right and there is nothing open. He wants to cut back. You can see his vision goes to the inside, but there are two Packers coming from his left who are going to make the tackle on him. Instead, he reads his block out from number 65, Nate Herbig, and he's going to put on a fantastic juke. Look at the change of direction here, the stutter step. We're going to get to the outside. Again, see that Connor McGovern loses this block. We're going to beat our linebacker to the inside, put a spin move on, and fight for those extra yards. What a special play. Yeah, I've shown you the big, sexy touchdown runs, but this is the bread and butter play that will win you games in the NFL, and Brees Hall did it time after time. So let's pivot now to Brees Hall and his dynamic pass-catching ability, because he was a threat out of the backfield as well. The Jets, they come out again in this familiar twin running back set. Mike LaFleur does a great job scheming Brees Hall open on the wheel route to the left-hand side of the Jets' formation. Zach Wilson hits him in stride. Right now, not particularly impressive, but it's what happens at the 20-yard line that makes this a spectacular play. Brees Hall running through contact, stiff-arming people, the strength, the balance after contact, and just the sheer will and determination to get down to the one-yard line. Yes, this is a great job from Mike LaFleur putting Brees Hall in a great position, 
and he gets him open and you can see him in space, but it's Brees Hall's ability to finish this play. We're talking about 20 yards after contact and look how he fights and stretches to almost take this ball to the end zone. You're going to see this in the next couple of plays. Brees Hall was brought down at the one a ton and he lost a lot of touchdown production because of it, but what he didn't lose was the explosive ability. It was all over the film. You're seeing 70-yard touchdowns, 60-yard receptions. Brees Hall is a freak of nature. I love this rep against the Cincinnati Bengals because I like my running backs to win one-on-one -on -one in space when running running back routes. Here we are, Brees Hall out of the backfield running a Texas route against the linebacker. Oh my goodness. On top of that, we're going to throw in a couple of spin moves. We're going to turn it into a 20-yard gain because of course we are. We're Brees Hall. But look at the move he puts on the linebacker here. Little stutter step, but he's going to sell a little outside move. Look how he plants the left leg. Bang, oh my goodness, cross the face on the Texas route. We're going to run straight through that contact, spin out of it, another spin move, and once again, turn it into a bigger gain. Maximize the potential of the play, but look at Brees Hall beat man coverage against a second-level defender. It is not fair. If you can isolate him in these matchups more next year, you're going to see Brees Hall have four or 500 receiving yards without a doubt. And then the last play, again against the Miami Dolphins, Brees Hall, right-hand side of Zach Wilson out of shotgun, it's man coverage. Have a look on the swing route of what a job he does contorting his body. You want to talk about body control, you hear it a lot with wide receivers. Look how Hall turns with this pass. Zach Wilson really should put this outside shoulder, it leaks inside. We've got a one-arm stab, we're going to get north-south in a hurry and just make people miss. Run through arm contact and once again rumble down to the one. Michael Carter poaches the touchdown, you know what it's like. But Brees Hall on this swing route just does a fantastic job with his body control, pulling this ball in. I reckon 7 out of 10 running backs don't corral this pass, but not only that, he then turns it into a first down on third down and he takes it for a 20-yard gain. I've said this three or four times in the video. It's about maximizing the potential of a play. That's what you want in a running back. That's why you draft one highly, and Brees Hall does it every single time. So guys, there's a reminder of exactly how special Brees Hall was in 2022. His vision, the speed, re-acceleration, short area quickness, he has the whole package. A healthy Hall, Carter, and a Banakanda might be the best running back room in the NFL.